Hello everyone. Today we are going to make this looping animation and you can download the project file from Gumroad for a dollar or you can download all the project file from Patreon for a three dollar and much more. So let's get started. Delete everything. One minute. Screencast key. Yes. Now enable extra add uh, extra mesh add-on this extra object sorry extra yes extra object add mesh and then front shift a and add uh, this rounded cube make it one then shade smooth apply subdivide modifier then add this uh, sorry this circle make it 12 or maybe um, 16 maybe 20 make it 20 and then add another subdivide modifier here and then add simple deform this one like this make it zero for now now apply skin modifier this one now uh, go into edit mode by pressing tab and then select this all all the vertices press ctrl a and scale it down like this by the way First, we can apply the subdivide modifier so we can see how big or how small it is. 3-3 uh, three, three should be good. Uh, this this smooth will not work over here. You will have to click here on smooth setting. Now it's smooth. Now again, go to edit mode and Control A, and as you can see, it's going like this. I will go to the side view so I can see Control A and as you can see it's still inside the orb so what we can do now we can now scale it until we get this until we get this like this if you want you can make it um, uh, thicker or lighter it's up to you now we are done with the modeling now we will move into animation so first we will make a 5 second animation you can make it 3 or 2 whatever you like this uh, it's on 24 uh, keyframe per second so we will make it 24 into 5 it means it's around 5 second longer so now select this one and first we will animate this this simple deform press i over here this will insert a keyframe over here and then go to 1 again I and now add in the center the center is uh, 60 because we have uh, 290 by the way we can divide this by 2 and we will get the center now type in 1080 means uh, it will rotate 3 times uh, press I so it's looking uh, strange as you can see this is because of this uh, so as soon as we increase this one it will make it look good and increase both render and viewport otherwise it will not show up in uh, in the render tab and as you can see we are almost done with the animation see now i will add camera no uh, we will have to animate this as well so select this and then this and parent this too so now we parented the, the torus to the orb now we can rotate it like uh, in the z axis like this okay so what i will do now i will go to uh, frame 0 uh, sorry frame 1 it was yes 1 and insert single keyframe then i will go to uh, sorry I mistakenly added a single keyframe on the torus 
so select this insert single keyframe and then go to 120 and add a 360 rotate it 360 and another single keyframe so now as you can see it's where it will loop but the problem is it will stop uh, here as you can see it stopped and then it will again start rotating so how we can fix it we can make it linear so t and make it constant so as you can see it will not stop over here it's going and going you cannot see it uh, because let me now you can see it that it's continuously rotating okay so there is a uh, stop between because we have uh, a duplicate frame so this frame 0 uh, frame 1 and frame 120 is exactly same so we will not render this frame so i will make it 1 none 9 so one frame uh, one keyframe plus so we do not have to duplicate frame now so we are done with the animation let's add a camera alt r and G Y push it back like this and R X 90 this and then move to camera and I will change this to 1080 1080 by 1080 so it's a perfect square now I will zoom in a bit with this Y direction now I will change uh, this mode to uh, this uh, 3D cursor so we can rotate it uh, on the 3D cursor as yeah, yeah, you can you will be able to see over here so RX as I rotate it will rotate around this orb so let's go into the edit mode and I will first rotate it on the Y axis so R Y uh, sorry X and like this and then I will slightly rotate it in the z-axis as well like it's up to you totally how you want your camera I make it like this and let's move to shading part so we will use cycles because uh, the glass does not look good in uh, AV and also the volume this may take longer because the volume may take longer time to render so first of all uh, we will render the orb because this is the hardest thing so delete this so we will need emission first emission and i will need voronoi texture to make it smooth and then duplicate this one then uh, then I will make uh, this 12 this one 2.5 and this one smoothness it's, it's a smoothness it's a scale uh, everything is spells uh, uh, I will uh, everything is self-explanatory so I will not explain what is smoothness what is scale you know what is scale so I will plug this position into what vector and now now i will add math node change this to power plug this uh, into this and i will make it uh, the power uh, maybe 20 and then i will add ramp color ramp between these two and i will add this over here so as you can see we are getting like it's looking like scratches but just I will plug this into here and now I will add another node hue this one okay and I will add this and I will add another slightly lighter and this one should also be black so just like 
this one and something is wrong yes, something is wrong yes uh, so so I will make this 1000 right? and you will be able to see this now I will make this 10 and we are uh, getting there so I think I can make this one uh, and this one bit brighter like this you will be able to see it much uh, better in the dark background and the dark environment so we are done with this let's uh, make this one now it's just simple uh, metallic texture Met uh, increase the metal to one decrease this decrease this and make it blue just like this and now let's uh, no oh, one more thing we will add glass texture over here the glass and I will make it one point uh, no sorry point one five zero just like this and now you can see all the notes if you wanna take a screenshot you can do it now let's make the world so I will use world lighting and stuff so I did uh, I added four or six six or eight lights in my render so let's add lights Z I will push it up make it score disk increase the size to 5 uh, maybe 5 is too much so 2 3 yes 3 now this one is on the 3d cursor so I will keep it here R X I will push it slightly backward like this now I will duplicate this one so control D R X uh, and sorry R Z and uh, RZ I will rotate it like uh, like 90 degree make it 30 make this one also 30 now I will again duplicate RZ 90 duplicate RZ 90 like this now I will select all four and I will duplicate all four and uh, scale it on the z axis s z minus one so we have this not the global but for some reason it's not looking like I want it to look so duplicate s z minus one does not work s x minus 1 okay leave it just rotate it by 180 degree on the x axis here just like this so now I will go to setting tab and as you can see it's already looking good and I will delete few of that are making these reflections so first of all I will duplicate this I will add mix node and then I will add uh, light path node to separate the light li gst light path and now we can separate the background and the environment so this one is background and this will just show up in the background and this one is that will affect the orb so I will make it completely down slightly blue just like this and as you can see few of the light uh, lights are making the this weird reflections so we will delete them so here is how we can find them I will I will do one by one As you can see this one delete this 
over here it was making weird reflection and this one over here so I will delete this one as well so we have this mm, yeah now I will make a gradient background so add a gradient texture this one add it to color and control T I will change it to window I will make it spherical and I will add the ramp node color ramp and then I will make it 0.5 uh, I will minus 0.5 and this one minus 0.5 as well so it's now in the center now we can control the size and i will make it ease so we have this and now with this we will make this one blue as well dark blue just like this a slight more dark and we have so we are done now let's uh Let's set up the render tab. Let's change this to sorry, make uh, leave it in the PNG. Make the compression zero. Make it six uh, sixteen bit. Uh, yes. Now here you can define where you want to save it. Uh, so it's up to you where you want to save it. So I will leave it and then just change the color measurement to uh, very high just like this uh, maybe high contrast now now let's see how it looks yeah it's looking pretty so what we can do now is we can just go here and click on hit render animation but we will have to set up the uh, let's set up denoiser so type in denoiser and enable denoise data in the passes um, denoise data and then just link all of this now denoiser will work let's try with the slow samples Also use uh, also use adaptive sampling. It will make the render faster. As you can see the denoids are worked so thanks again for watching see you in the next video so thank you